What is up, guys? It's Twin, Twin Soul, Soul Poets. Poets. We are your go-to couple for love and relationship advice. Dope spoken word poetry and, and up uplifting content. content. Today we'll be sharing with you three creative ways to attract love into your life. Valentine's Day is coming up, so we know a lot of people are thinking about how do I bring my Valentine to me? How do I draw them in? How do I seduce them with romanticism and... Mm -hmm. And <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted by my seductive wife. Before we jump into these three tips, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel to get all of our awesome content. We do a lot of twin flame videos, a lot of dope spoken word poetry, yes. and more. Here are three creative ways that you can attract love into your life and get that valentine. The first way is creative in that you would think it's obvious, but a lot of people miss it, which is to just tell someone how you feel. Um, we've worked with so many people who maybe have a specific person in mind, we'll ask them, have you shared with them how you feel? And the answer is, oh, I don't know, I'm nervous, I don't know if they feel the same way. But this is a very important first step, don't miss this one. Yeah, the important thing here is to keep it simple. It doesn't have to be some kind of grand romantic gesture, right. some kind of huge gift, some kind of creative painting or like, you put some Spell message in, in the, the sky. sky. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to do all that. Like, just let them know. Especially, it almost becomes weird if you do all that and you haven't even like told them yet that you like them. It's like mm, it's kind of a, a overwhelming. overwhelming way to reveal your feelings to someone. Just try saying, "Hey, I really like spending time with you. Mm. I enjoy hanging out." And I understand that some people are afraid of rejection. I mean, that's a normal human fear, but that's great feedback. Whatever the response is, is awesome feedback for you. You want somebody who's excited about you. You want somebody who's ready to say yes. You want to make room for the kind of love that you want. And the way they respond is great feedback. Just give them the time, space to do that. Don't have any expectations. Don't try to ask leading questions. Just say, like Hamilton said, I feel really good about you. I really enjoy being around you. And then leave it alone and let them respond. Give them the time. You know, it could be a lot to take in and they may feel the same way. They might need a few days. It might not be right away, but let them respond in their own time. And sometimes you'll be surprised what comes up for them. Let them decide how they feel about it without, you know, putting that anxiety around it. If it's a no, respect that. Respect that and say, well, this is giving me the opportunity to make room for the kind of love I deserve and the kind of love that I want in my life. And be glad you don't have to waste any more time guessing or wondering or right you know trying to figure out if they like you or not and you'd be surprised you know. how many times it's a yes there right. are so many times if someone's spending a lot of time with you and taking the time to you know invest in you then there's a good chance that they're interested too bottom line is sincerity is powerful and if you're looking for a powerful magnet just being really sincere and honest with your feelings and be able to look someone in the eye and say hey i like spending time with you do you want to spend more time with me right don't That's underestimate it. the power of that this is keep it simple this last creative tip for attracting love is one that i actually did and i think it's fun it's very specific but go to the store go to the valentine's day section go to target if you like that's my favorite place to go <laughs> and get you a valentine's card for someone for the person that is coming so it's a creative kind of act as if moment and i did it and it made me feel really good so i picked out the card i imagined the state that i would be in when i was with this person this you know love of my life that i wanted to be with and i picked this card out as if I was already with them. And the cool thing is you get to keep it and when you finally do connect with this person, you get to give it to them. And let me tell you what a powerful like connecting through time moment that is. It's like you can connect almost to that future self who's giving that person that card and be like, okay, what's that energy feel like? Like what kind of things would I wanna to say to this person? And it's a yeah, way that you can be, note. yeah, write a love note in it. And it's Three a way time. you can participate in the Valentine's Day energy ahead of the game. And it's just a fun, you know, fun way to, yeah. <laughs> you can get creative with this. It doesn't necessarily have to be a card, but the whole purpose of this, gift, right? it works because the same way that a vision board works, it's a way of putting your dreams and the things that you're trying to manifest into your physical reality by having this card. It's representing and putting into existence this thing that you're calling in. Yes. And, and that really is powerful. It, it really does begin to work like a magnet and you're literally starting to construct this reality for yourself. Here's an example. Many of you know that we're going to get a French bulldog named Kevin. And um, one of my thoughts was like, we should go get a dog toy to like anticipate his arrival because yeah. we are very excited about this French bulldog. And you know, it's calling him in. We're going to have this toy that one day we'll be able to give to him. And it's just fun. It just reminds you every time we see the toy, we'll be like, oh, you know, he's on his way. So just get creative. Let us know in the comments if you have any fun ideas. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Just love on yourself, 
love Celebrate on each love. other. Celebrate love. Celebrate. 